Hey guys, me back with another video. So today we're gonna be doing something pretty fun today. So we're gonna be. I know this camera angle looks pretty weird, but again, you know, it's one of my harder videos to record, so it just had to happen. But anyways, I know I've been gone for a while, for about a month, but you know, summer's here, and again, when summer's here, I'm gonna be posting again. Like I said, every two, every once every two weeks, back to my normal schedule, and mostly will be about Rubik's cube videos. I won't tell you what they're gonna be about, but guarantee. You know, count on that they're going to be Rubik's Cube videos. So, the Rubik's Cube is not that hard to solve. I mean, yes, you, it is a little challenging, but I think if you practice enough, you can learn it. Definitely in a month or even a week. So, how can we get this to look like this? First, here is... So, let's learn the first step. The yellow cross. Or the daisy. Or like the flower. It has a bunch of nicknames, but again... So, it looks like this. So, we get four edge pieces. You know, edge pieces are these pieces here. And, you know, they have two colors. And corner pieces have three colors. And center pieces only have one color. So, like, you know, orange and green. And, again, like, they'll always be the same opposite. So, what that means is blue will always be opposite green. Red will always be opposite or orange. Yellow will always be opposite white. And that goes for anything. So if I turn it, no matter what I do, or how how many turns I do, or how what turns, you know, how long I turn, or what turns I do, it, again, they'll always be the same. But anyways, so the first step is again the yellow daisy. So how we do that is we turn put edges there. We put the four white edges on the yellow center. So we can just move the cube around, you know, and see we get edges like that, and you know, just keep moving the cube. You know, that, yeah. And sometimes you can just, you know, by doing that. But let's take a look at some cases. So if we have cases like these where it's on the bottom, what we want to do is just turn the top. So where we turn the top and where it is, like, you know, see, it's like this. If we just turn to it like, you know, that, it'll just be this, you know, that will just go into the bottom layer. So we just want to turn the top like this so, you know, we can get it there and turn it. Really, I, I think this, you know, I think this part, it doesn't matter, too, if you have, like, the corners, it just longs as the four white edges. And, you know, this step is, you know, not really, like, crazy, it's, you know, it's intuitive, you know, it's not intuitive, like, you know, it doesn't require any algorithms, you just kind of do it. But, yeah. So, next part is we line it up. So, what that means is, this part's the easiest to understand and explain. So what I mean is, we line the edge and the center, so then then we turn it to where it's like this. So, you know, that's one edge. So we so again, we turn it and line it up so we insert that there. And we can just do that for all of them. Yeah. And the next algorithm, we're going to do have to learn two algorithms. We have to learn a couple, but here are the first two I'm going to show you. So, um, basically, there's a left and right version. So... You can call them the lefty algorithm or righty. So the, le so the left version goes like this. So here's how to remember. So you go left up to the right. Since again, if it's left, you know, you can do, okay, left up. And then I go opposite of like the name. So right and then down and then left. So up, opposite, down, correct. So what that means is like, what that means is you go up and then you go the opposite. You go up, opposite of name, left, down, you know, the same as the name, right. And you can do that for those. Or you can memorize it differently. So, we want to insert the corners. And if the corner's already inserted like this, then it's fine. So, what we do is we line up. Um, so, we find uh, we either find the white. We find a corner with the white, you know, with white and that we want to solve. And we put it near, we put it in the section it's supposed to be. So, see, the, and then look for the other colors. So, like, red you know, we ignore the white, so we look for red and blue, so again, blue and red, but if we put it here, you think it's there, but no, it's uh, red and green, so we put it there, and what we want to get, what we um, want to do is now do that righty algorithm, so it depends, so if, if it's like this, then, you know, if it's, when you put it there, you're facing, you can just turn the puzzle, and it can, you can do, if, again, like when you turn the puzzle, if it's on the right, you do a righty algorithm, and if it's on the left, you do a lefty algorithm. And then we just, you know, match it up. See, this is the white is facing this way. Lefty algorithm. Turn. 
facing the left, lefty. And what if you get a case that's like this? So what if you get a case and basically these are on the top layer or these are on this bottom layer. So what you do is just you, if like, you know, you just see where the white is and you just do a lefty algorithm on the section. Is. So since this is on the left, we do a lefty. This is on the right, we do a righty. And if you have these, the, um, the white is facing up, we just do whatever side it is on three times. So righty algorithm three times and lefty algorithm three times. And then we solve. So now the next step is the first two layers and what we can do. So what we first do is we turn the top until one matches. So like this. So we match, you know, we want, this is really good. We want edges like on these here without yellow. So this one, this one we don't want, we don't want, you know, an edge with yellow, but all of these are fine. So again, we match this up and it, and then we look for the top color. So this, this is green. And it either needs to go to the left or it needs to go to the right. And if it needs to go to the left, what we do is we push it away. And, you know, and you push it up away from it. And then do, if it needs to go left, lefty algorithm, righty algorithm. And if it needs to go to the right, push it away, righty algorithm, lefty algorithm. So another example, push it away, lefty, righty. Um... Since it goes to the right, push it away, righty, lefty. Again, example, to the left, push it, lefty first, turn, righty. And you don't have to finish that last turn like what I did. Like sometimes if you're doing the algorithm, you can just do that. Or like if you're doing the right algorithm and you're inserting it, like, you know, you're inserting it, um, like this you can just do that except that but you it doesn't matter either way so now what we want to do is get the top layer the yellow we want to get the yellow cross so there's three things so there's either a line line like this or and then there will be a hook and then there will be a dot like these so but i get i got a line so i'm going to turn the top like this for uh, for the line for a line you turn the top and do a righty algorithm once and turn the top back and the yellow cross like that. And for a hook, you turn the top, do a righty algorithm twice. And then for a dot, you turn the top, do a righty algorithm twice. Then you do, then it becomes a hook and you finish the process. So do turn and do an algorithm twice. A righty, algor righty algorithm twice. So then well, we, now we want to do the edges. So what that, what you do is just turn the top until you have either two matching. So um just you know it doesn't you don't have you know see like it's not crazy hard you just turn it until two match so if they're opposite of each other you do this algorithm which is called a soon and i will teach you and then they will become like this so if they're opposite you just find opposites and do that and do the algorithm then they will become like this and like next to each other the edges and then you do the algorithm so since these are next to each other we put this in the back and then you know put the right instead of and not like this so and the one edge in the back, one edge to the right. So what we do is memorize, we, I mean, we can memorize this algorithm by taking this pair out. So what we can do is take the pair out, this way, to the left, push it back down, put it in the back, up, and then reinsert it. And what that does is that solves all of the edges. The next step is doing the corner. So a corner is solved by this. So, um... See, red is matching and green, so these are like matching, and we have to learn one more algorithm, and it's called an E class, and this like fixes the corners. So if you have one matching, you just do this algorithm, and you know any direction, you know just do the algorithm, whatever. So again, memorize these pairs. So push this pair up and put that in the back. So up in the back, up in the back. Since this is down, just put it back down, you know, and then put that. And since this is the corners fixed, that's corner and that, you know, corner. So next, and, and if you don't have any, then what you want to do is just repeat the algorithm at any side until you have one, and like that. So, well, it may take a while, or if you have one matching, so like, see, if let's say this is blue and this is matching there, we turn it away, do the algorithm, like, and then turn it to the left, do the algorithm. But yeah, so just keep doing that until you have, like, at least one. So now that all of these are solved, we want to flip the cube upside down. And we want to finish, this is our last step, and we want to finish the corners. So, 
what we're gonna do is um we see like just we can do any side and turn it so i'm just gonna start on orange and you know since it's facing this way basically we just continue righty algorithms until it's solved so what i mean is just do righty alg keep doing righty algorithms until both of those corners are solved don't turn the cube but like rotate the cube like the bottom layer and just rinse and repeat and then the cube should be done hope this helped solving a rubik's cube i will make videos on you know i will make videos on the more advanced way but i hope that this helps and i will do an example solve for you and again watch this video again don't just don't get discouraged i you think how this is very impressive that a 12 year old can solve a rubik's cube but don't get don't get discouraged i you know if you don't have, you can, you know, it doesn't take too long to solve it, you know, just, if you can in your free time, then practice steps and stuff, and, you know, if, you know, just find a vid, this is what I recommend, don't go from video to video, and if you don't get it on the first try, find one video you actually like, and even though you don't understand the first time, just keep going, and this has happened to me when learning stuff, uh, more specifically, Rubik's Cubes, so I'm gonna do an example solve, and I'm gonna go a little faster, but I'm gonna explain what I do. So first step, I'm going to turn these until I solve it. And this is kind of tricky since I see this is on the bottom. I keep turning it until I get it to where I want to go and then I turn it. So I line these up. It's lined up. Turn lined up. And these are lined up. Then I see the corner, so I insert. The, so I see. And so this and... Since I see it's facing away, I can just turn this and I can just do a righty algorithm. Turn lefty three times. Um, see, I, since this is in the bottom, so I take that pair out so I can insert it. And lefty three times. Now, I will um, fix the edges, like I do the F, uh, first two layers. So I line it up. See, I see it needs to go to the right, push it away. Righty, lefty. Match needs to go to the right, uh, lefty, righty, or no, righty, lefty. See, so also this is another thing. Um, if it's like if it's like this, you don't have to match it up and then push it away. But you, if it's like this and you see it, you can just do the the correct set of steps. See the hook, turn it twice. Then what I do is the edges. So I see that these are matched up. Put it back on the right. Do the algorithm. And then what I do is I don't have any that are matching at all. So I just do the algorithm from any direction. And see there. And repeat the algorithm. And now all of these are solved. Flip the cube upside down. Righty algorithm. I am continuously doing righty algorithms until the cube is solved. Again, I want... You know, this will be my longest video, but again, I just wanted to make this video, you know, simple and, you know, just try to help some people that want to learn it. I think that Rubik's Cube is a very fun puzzle, and once you get the hang of it, you're going to have fun with it. You can do it so many times, you can, there's a bunch of other stuff you can do by solving it, there's patterns, there's videos, it's, it's a fun thing. But, but yeah.